Sup WordPress nerds. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over a couple additional details that I left out of a video about a year ago about filters. So we're going to go over a couple more advanced pieces just a little bit to uh, help kind of round out our filter knowledge. So if you watch the uh, other video, you know that you can apply filters to take um, all of the manipulated data from filters and do something with it. In this case, just echo it or store it in a variable, do whatever you want with it, put it in a file, whatever you want. So we're just gonna call this my test filter. And then we can pass data to it, which we're gonna just pass hello. So this could be an array, this could be a number, this could be anything that you want. It's apply filters, not filter. So what we can do is we can refresh the page and we can get hello. And that's perfectly fine. Um, but if we wanted to make this piece of data extendable and available to other parts of our application, we can use a filter to manipulate this piece of data. So we can do that by saying add filter and the name of the filter that we want to uh, manipulate. So we're doing my test filter, which is the same thing that we had right here. And then we had a function that will accept the default piece of data, which in this case is hello. And we're gonna just bring that in right here. So if we just return message, we're gonna get the same as we had before, but since we uh, are filtering this and may wanna change it, we know we could append something like a space and then um, world, you know, so we can make hello world. Um, but you're not always gonna have just, you know, one filter um, or one, sorry, one piece of data passed to the filter. So you can have, you know, a second uh, parameter here. And let's say that this is world and we can just say message two and you know theoretically we should just be able to do have the space and then have message two oops my dot and we save it and go back but we get a giant error um, it says uncaught argument count error too few arguments to function so that's a little bit confusing because i mean we're using two of those variables we're passing two variables here, and we've got two things being passed here. So where's the actual hangup? And the hangup is actually in the number of arguments that we've passed to add filter. So if I just type in a comma to bring up my uh, um, autocomplete here, the next thing that we can pass in is the priority, but the final one is the number of accepted arguments. All right, so the priority is defaulted to 10, so let's leave it at that, and we'll come back to that one here in a second. The next one is just defaulted to one, so that's where the hangup is, is that needs to be two to match the number of arguments that we are accepting here. So we should be good now. So Okay, so now that works. We haven't done anything inside of our uh, filter here except for just give it the space. Um, it's just brought in this information that we've got here. So we can continue with that. I mean, we can type three and add another thing and all that kind of stuff. But what if we wanted to kind of, you know, further down the line, let's say this was in a plugin and this is what was happening inside of the plugin. And then down here in our theme, we wanted to do something with that. We wanted to make this a little bit more exciting. We wanted this to have a bunch of exclamation marks, but the plugin didn't do it for us. All right, or it doesn't have any sort of interface for us to do that in the dashboard. So what we can do is add a filter and we can do my test filter and bring in the function. And then we can say, oh, let's take in the message. And I'm going to explain why there's just one here in a second. And we're going to return the message, but with some exclamation marks in there as well. And that works. All right, so that's interesting. So what happened here? Why did we only have to do one here and two here? Well, 
the problem is, I guess here, priority and problem, it's, it's working the way that it's supposed to, it's a feature, not a bug, um, is that it's taking in these two arguments that are, it's given here, and it's returning a single string here. And then later on here in our theme, we're getting that single string, we're outputting that single string and appending some exclamation marks to it. So that's kind of what is going on there. It kind of like juggled that from there to here and we were able to uh, change that up. Now, let's say this was a different priority. So now we're kind of in um, priority land. Let's say that we have nine here. So what's gonna run first is it, it's gonna be, which one is it? Ah, okay. So we did hello exclamation marks world. That's pretty interesting. So this ran first. So we got hello. We didn't get world. And we returned that into here, which then passed it to here as message. And I know this is a little bit hard to follow. It passed it to message here. So we had hello and then our exclamation marks because that's what this is. Then we have a space and then we got message too because we accepted that here. So then we get our world. So we get hello exclamation marks space world. Hopefully that you kind of were able to follow that. So it can get kind of wacky. But ultimately what I'm trying to show you is that you can actually dictate what goes first and what goes second. So let's just remove all of this confusion and just kind of bring in um, kind of how it was before where we were just getting our hello world like regular. This happened first, this happened second. Um, the reason why this is happening first and second is just kind of the order here in PHP, but like we can say that we want this to explicitly run after the first one. So if we set this to a higher number like 11, that means it's going to run after this one in 10. So if we refresh the page, we get exactly what we were thinking. We can just to prove that, just do yo right here. And so that happened second. We completely disregarded everything that this one did and we just decided to do our own thing and just say yo. So this can work, you know, infinitely essentially. Um, we can say, well, we wanna take in that yo and make it number 12 and we'll bring in that yo and we'll do some exclamation marks on that as well. And now we have you out with exclamation marks. So the reason why this is important and the reason why you would need to know this is that in real life, in our in my everyday job, you know, if we use a plugin for something like that or or the other, it could be having filters inside of here that are um, manipulating filters that are coming from WordPress core. So it could be, well, the WordPress core defaults to 10. That means the plugin might do theirs at 11 and I've seen them at like 100 or something odd like that. And then all of a sudden that data is, you know, it's gonna have like, and if I come in here and I just leave off this and, you know, just tried to manipulate it this way, I'm gonna run into issues because it's still gonna output the thing that comes last. So what I've had to do in my job is just like go find this filter by searching the plugin files and then set it to a higher priority, and then my thing will be happening last. So therefore, my value is gonna be the one that gets um, displayed on the screen or gets saved or whatever. So long story short, there's a couple extra arguments inside of filters that you're gonna need to know how they work in order to kind of work with plugins or pieces of your theme. It, it's entirely possible to be kind of like, um, you know, setting your own filters and manipulating your own filters within your theme just at different parts uh, based on different uh, pieces of logic. But ultimately this is something that you're going to run into if you haven't already. So hopefully this video prepares you a little bit more for that situation. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, um, leave it a like. If you didn't like it, a dislike. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel if you're, in, if you're interested because I do WordPress videos, um, try to do just about every single week. And then also uh, just to kind of uh, advertise myself a little bit more, I've got a Patreon. We do monthly exclusive videos and I just released 
my monthly exclusive video about uh, programmatically registering users to your WordPress site and then logging them in. Um, it's a pretty simple way of doing things, or it's a pretty simple thing to do, but I outline it completely in um, that video and that is exclusive to patrons. Shout out to my patrons who have been supporting me. We do other sorts of videos as well, like deploying WordPress with Git, things like that. It's a little bit more fun stuff. So long story short, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for sticking around and I will see you in the next one.